In-state tuition for undocumented immigrants versus tuition for veterans. Assembly Republicans raising questions about a proposal by Governor Tony Evers. PolitiFact Wisconsin checks it out. When Governor Evers proposed giving undocumented immigrants who graduate from Wisconsin high schools in-state tuition at UW schools, Assembly Republicans were unhappy and called it unfair. The criticism was, and as they drew it up, as I said, that these non-U.S. citizens would get it after three years, whereas military veterans would have to wait five years for the same benefit. PolitiFact Wisconsin says Evers' in-state tuition plan applies to citizens of other countries who have lived here for at least three years before applying to college. They also must show proof they have filed or will file for a permanent resident visa. The veterans program applies only to veterans who move to the state after their service time ends, not all veterans. What Governor Evers is talking about is giving in-state tuition to folks who meet the criteria. For veterans, they actually get free tuition for up to eight semesters if they meet the criteria. So it's a different apples and oranges comparison going on there. PolitiFact Wisconsin says Republicans conflated two different programs. Many veterans would get the larger benefit without any weight. So PolitiFact Wisconsin rated this claim mostly false.